the experts are at it again. Experts are talking about cryptocurrencies. Let me tell you something about experts, okay? There's a doctor, his name is Dr. Ben Carson, and he is the world's foremost authority on pediatric neurology. That means brain surgery on babies. And he's the world's foremost authority on it. He is an expert, right? Now, uh, there's also another doctor who is an expert on the ones and twos. His name is Dr. Dre, right? You don't want Dr. Dre performing brain surgery on your children, and you don't want Dr. Carson uh, DJing your house party, right? Because they're not experts in those things. They are experts, but expert doesn't mean expert at life, okay? If you're lucky and really smart, and if you work really hard, maybe you will be considered an expert at one thing, maybe. Now, there's been a few uh, anomalies throughout human history where people were experts at actually three or four different things, okay? But uh, usually those people are, are uh, you know, mathematicians and sort of Renaissance people. Anyways, uh, Charlie Lee is an expert, right? He went to MIT. That's like the, the coveted... I, I, I don't think I could respect somebody more for just uh, academic accomplishment than, than having gotten accepted to, gone through and graduated from MIT. That's the, that's the holy grail of like, yeah, man, if you graduated that school, you're smart, smart. And you know, if you went on and you created something after that, I'm sure you're an expert in that thing. Now, Charlie Lee is an expert at computer engineering. That's what his degree is in. That's what he went to MIT for. So he is an expert at that. But here he is running his mouth. Listen to this. When crypto goes up too fast, it overshoots its real value. So a bear market to consolidate is normal. How long and how large is anyone's guess? It's anyone's guess. As in, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Charlie, because you're not an economist, uh, you're not a broker, you're not a futures and options trader, you're not a commodity trader, you're a computer engineer. That's what you're, you are. Now, I want to take a quick look at this, just go on a little bit of a rant here, okay? Let's take another look. When crypto goes up too fast, it overshoots its, what does this mean right here? Real value. Now, let's talk about real value just real quick. Okay, now a stock, a stock has real value. And you can come to the conclusion of what its real value is by its uh, price earnings ratio and its DTI, debt to income, right? Because it's a company. Companies have debt and companies have cash, right? A company makes a certain amount of money and then they have to go pay the people that, that they borrowed that money from to begin with. So that the money that they made, not all of it is theirs. Some of that belongs to the people that they borrowed money from, debt to income. Right? And that's what you can look at and price earnings. Well, how much money did you make? Right? What are the earnings of your, of your company? You can, you can come to these things mathematically, but we are talking about cryptocurrencies. And just remove the word crypto for just a second. This is what we're talking about. Currencies. This is the currency trade. I am a former licensed currency trader. This is what we're talking about. Currencies. Do you know what the, do you know what the value, the uh, real value of the US dollar is? Please write and tell me. Please submit your theory about how the dollar is worth what it is, is today. Is it the gold standard? Oh, that's right. We got off of that you know, decades ago. Currencies are, are, since they're no longer metal based, currencies arrive at their value at whatever it is that we say it is, right? If you say you have something to sell me and I tell you I have a certain amount of dollars, you have to agree and I have to give you that amount of dollars. Therefore, you accept what it is that, that I have to give you in trade for whatever it is that you're selling, right? It's, it's a communal agreement on value. We come to that together. We say what it's worth, right? Now, let's take Bitcoin for example. What's the real value of Bitcoin? I don't know. Why don't you call the Bitcoin Corporation and ask them what their price earnings are? Ask them what their debt to income ratio is. Oh, that's right, you can't because it's not an actual company, right? Now, 
I love cryptocurrencies, and I, I think that there's a future in it, but let's be real here. You, cannot, you can't buy everything you want with cryptocurrencies right now. I believe that's going to come in the future, but right now, you, you can't. You can't walk into 7-Eleven and buy a Slurpee with Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. Therefore, it is not a universal currency, you know what I mean? Like, I can, I can fly to Switzerland, and I can con convert my U.S. dollars into the Swiss franc and, and buy a Coke at McDonald's. You know what I mean? Because when, when, when I show up there, my dollar has a, uh, an agreed upon value to that place, to that nation. Well, it's not like that with cryptocurrencies yet. So when he talks about, he's talking about the markets as if he's like a market expert. Well, when crypto goes up too fast, it overshoots its real value. What's it? It, oh, it overshot? Is that what you're saying? It overshot something? Okay, then that implies that you know what the real value is. Please, sir, Charlie Lee, graduate of MIT, tell me what the real value of Bitcoin is. Tell me about the real value of the thing that you created, Litecoin, is. What's the real value of Litecoin? What, how's your company doing there, Mr. Lee? You know, how's your Litecoin company doing? How's your... How's your debt to income? Have you paid off all your creditors? Are you are you completely flush with cash? Idiot. Anyways, Charlie Lee, stay in your lane, brother.